What's up, everybody? It's Warpman Fitness, aka hashtag Gains. Today is gonna be an honest reviews video where I review a product and I give my my humble opinion on it. No, it's not very humble. It's my motherfucking honest opinion on it. That's what it is. Bam! I got this Pro Bar cookie dough flavor. Got this shit at Vitamin Shop. It looks like no one's buying these bitches. So they cut the shit in half. Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty for this bitch. It was three dollars and some change. It's probably why. Three dollars for a little ass bar? Come on. I got this shit for a dollar. I don't know what they're actually selling it for. I mean it does say three dollars and twenty-seven cents. And I can see why no one's buying it if that's the case. You might be able to get them cheaper, but they did cut it in half. And uh and it, it honestly, it's it's kind of a hard time to or hard time to review this bar because it's expiring next month in August. So, probably gonna taste a little stale. But hey, I'm gonna try being honest, try keeping it 100, and uh, try going by flavor. This is 290 calories in this whole bar. You got nine grams of fat, six grams of saturated fat, 33 carbs, four fiber, 16 sugar, 20 grams of protein. So, not too, too bad. Um, Instead of walking over my words, I was like, six grand the fat, the fuck? Today, Junior. <laughs> oh, man. Look at them traps. Look at them fucking traps. Nah, I was just fucking around. Anyways, let's get back to the sinus reviews. You know what I'm saying? It's a pretty thick bar. It's pretty fucking thick. It smells okay. Tastes like a granola bar. Got some chocolate, some chocolate chips, like granola, like Krispies. Not granola, Krispies. And the Krispies kind of taste stale. I ain't gonna lie. The taste isn't too bad. It's pretty decent tasting. There's no aftertaste. Definitely stale. I don't know about no fucking cookie dough though. I feel like every brand tries doing cookie dough, and they all fuck it up. It's pretty good. It's not my favorite. I'm gonna have to put it in like the average category. It's just average. I mean, if you can get it for cheap, they're definitely worth a buck, buck fifty, two bucks. I would say two dollars is the absolute most I would pay for that bar. Maybe even dollar seventy-five. I wouldn't pay no more than that. Pretty decent, guys. I like it. It's a little stale tasting, so I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt that it shouldn't taste like stale Krispies, like the Rice Krispies that are in there. Kind of tastes a little stale, so I'm gonna give it the benefit of a doubt. Um, the macros are alright. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they could be better. As far as the flavor is concerned, it is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's cookie dough that much. I mean, it kind of tastes like cookie dough, but definitely not that strong of a cookie dough taste. It's not a bad flavor, though. No aftertaste. So, overall, it's a solid-ass bar. I'm going to have to say it's a 7. Uh, 7 and a half out of 10. I'll give the benefit of the doubt that it shouldn't have been stale. So, I'm going to say 7 and a half out of 10. But that's going to be pretty much it. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for the support as always. Let me know what you want to see next. And if you don't like it, too fucking bad. Subscribe, share, like, and comment below. Did you guys comment below yet? Alright, so now scroll through the comments, which is not many comments. <laughs> scroll through it, but don't troll, right? And then 
Don't hate me cause I'm fucking swole. Check you guys later. Got a shirt on, man. Hell yeah. Hey, we making all kinds of games. All kinds. <laughs> hey. Hey.